What's up, people? All right. So if you're a newbie, this is this is kind of a a good way to get the jitters out, get the oh, I'm nervous, um, I'm intimidated, I, I don't want to waste the resin. Um, I can't promise this is going to turn out right <laughs> because you'll figure out that resin has a mind of its own. But this is the funny thing about resin is resin gives you your style. Don't try to plan on having a style because resin is, it, it's like, I used to say this, it's like that little kid you see in the store that's, that's running around that, that you can't do anything about because he's a little kid so you just kind of let him and you know he's looking at you like mm, I can do what I want because I'm a little kid resin is basically a little kid they, it does what it wants so with that said this is the an easy way to get the jitters out to make something look nice if you choose the right colors sometimes the colors just don't go well so don't get don't get discouraged if you choose colors that just don't look good together just the 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 trick is just to try to smush it hit it with the heat or the blow gun blow gun <laughs> the heat gun maybe tilt it and leave it alone because when there's a lot of resin on it that's when it looks the most natural like just and and what we're going to do here is going to make it look more organic so with that said Let's roll the stripper music. Welcome to the wonderful world of resin. All right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start out with some resin. We got some stone coat, art coat, the most amazing resin you could get in this business. Uh, for one, it has an hour and a half at least of working time. Um, and that takes a lot of the stress out. When we first started, we were using resins that were, you know, 30, 45 minute working time. Um, and we were doing a countertop. <laughs> Don't ask me why. We learn the hard way, but that's what we're here for. Learning so you guys can learn without wasting time and wasting a lot of money. Um, so, uh, like I said, this is the art coat. 500, uh, I'm sorry, an hour and a half working time. It has up to 500 degrees Celsius. Nope, Celsius. <laughs> uh, Fahrenheit um, protection. You can set a coffee mug on it it'll be fine um, it has an awesome UV protectant in it very very good little to no odor I can't really smell it um, and uh, yeah it's awesome it's a one-to-one -one. so if you want to mix two two ounces you would mix one ounce of hardener one ounce of resin stir it up and you're good uh, for these coasters I'm only gonna mix maybe four ounces which is probably way too much um, but I want to make sure that um, I have enough and I have extra coasters so um, I'm gonna use four ounces and we'll see how that does all right let's get let's get to mixing Um, what you want to do is because the hardener is a lot thinner as you can tell I don't know if you can tell um, you want to put that in first so we're just going to do two ounces of that and then we're going to do the uh, the resin this is <laughs> a lot thicker so, um, and the reason you put the hardener in is because it's, you're less likely to get sticky 
areas when you're stirring it this will go right in the center and a little easier to stir up as well and if you'd like if it is a little thick put it in a warm bath just just heat up some water in a in a, in a tub put the whole jar in there let it set for a good 10 minutes and it should make a little thinner a little easier to work with so now I put two ounces of hardener now I'm gonna put two ounces of resin so that'll make a total of four ounces all right I'm gonna stir this up one of my trusty stir sticks oh you know what I forgot to do this is what I like to do I like to get a rag get some 91% alcohol just give it a little squirt of alcohol on there so you have a rag to wipe off any of your stuff that you're using so it doesn't get all sticky um, it's good for your heat gun and your torches so nothing gets stuck shut which will happen um, and with these stir sticks that we actually sell um, this one was left in resin um, the resin does come off here if you get it within 24 hours <laughs> but normally when you use one of our sticks you just wipe it off ready for the next time you know what I'm gonna see if I can actually take this resin off of here you can kind of see there's a layer of resin this this could go horribly wrong so just bear with me this is what I tell people um, if you if you get rough with these and try to break this off remember this is plastic <laughs> you don't you don't want to do that so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut this you know what you can actually heat this up a little bit just heat it up a little bit don't don't try to set it on fire um, let's see here let's start with this if you just get a good edge you should be able just to take this off let's see here I mean, this is the edges are coming off <laughs> maybe you shouldn't get it here let's try this this is coming off See if we can just get a little edge here. This was left on here. Here you go. This was left on here last night. You can see it's peeling off. It hasn't been 24 hours. Like normally this, this stuff will cure in about 24 hours. And see, you just peel it off. But normally <laughs> this would just peel right off here if it was, if it had been on there for a while. Um, but as you can see, it's coming off. Let's see if we can find another one that I have here. I'm sure we have a couple. Let's see, these are too thin. I want one that has been on here for a while. Really, there's none on here? Let's try this one. side I'm gonna rip my cut myself with this exacto blade and I do not want to do all right here we go I got a little little edge going here look at that and that's down to the raw plastic there so it does come off. 
Um, you just have to give it a little elbow grease. There you go. I've heard people try to see, look, as long as you just get an edge. There you go. See that? Just don't leave it in your resin overnight or for a week. Make sure you just clean them off. That's what they're for. So that way, if you only get a couple, you can use them more than once uh, in one session. But there you go. All right. Sorry for that. Let's get to some. <laughs> Let's get to some some stirring up. Let me wipe this off. There's gonna be some. All right. And what you want to do is mix this for at least two to three minutes, depending on how much you have. This is a small amount, so probably two minutes will be good. What you want to do is get the sides, all the bottom. You can just pick it up like it's chocolate, like you're mixing a cake. Because you want to get all of that resin off the sides and on the bottom and on your stick. And don't worry about these bubbles that you see in here. They will come out with the heat gun or your torch. I think this is good. All right. Let me put another glove on. All right. So, for something this, uh, these these small pieces here, you're not going to use a lot of color because this stuff is. Um, it's very, uh, very vibrant, very uh, opaque. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do, is we're going to start off, um, if you have powder, you want to put your powder in first. That has resin in it. Um, you want to put your powder in first. Look at this. Look at that. That is just beautiful right there I'm gonna hold this over that so just in case some of it does come out this is that color obsession 002 Woo. it is on the lip of that be careful when you open this up try to hold it over your cup and do not breathe on it <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is uh, very light um, and you're only going to put a little bit in there because you're only going to make a little bit let's see put a little bit more should be fine all right and this is 002 like I said um, they have a oh no 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 I'm sorry this is 008. This is the little bit. This is a pale gold. I'm sorry. I thought it was 00. 002 is, <laughs> I think it's silver. Sorry about that. Um, and then they have a 007, which is their really bright gold, which is amazing. But this is, uh, this is some good stuff right here. So we put the powder in first so that uh, when you mix it, it doesn't, give you a plume of mica powder and like I said we're only gonna mix a little bit because you don't need a lot for these because you're just giving them a, a hint of gold unless you want your whole coaster gold that's up to you 
just get that mixed in there nice and good probably use a little bit more like I said you don't use a lot of this gold so I wouldn't worry about that all right now with your paste you can do the same if you want um, a lot of people will do the paste um, or the tints um, after you put the resin in so because you, you know how much resin you have to, to work with. So since we're not going to use a lot in each, because you're just wanting a hint of these colors. And you have to make sure you have enough white because we're going to do a white base. We might have to mix some more for the white. Remember, we're going to do smush. Right. It might be good. Oh, all right. I don't want that in there. So let's get some of this red. This is uh, Just Resins Red. It's beautiful. Give it a good stir. Sometimes this stuff does separate. It is from Australia. Natasha and her hubby do an amazing job uh, making this stuff. This is an amazing red. And with this stuff, you 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 don't want to put a lot in there so I would almost just drip a little in there a little drizzle and then wipe off your stick because this is the this is how it goes with pigments you can't take it out but you can always put more in so just start out little by little mix it up see how you like it and that's one thing with our sticks um, as you can see, you can see through them. Well, these, this has a little, <laughs> we'll leave the paper on these because these are defects. Um, but they're clear, as you can see, like these are. So you can see just how transparent or opaque they are. This is opaque as can be. All right, now we're going to mix a little breakfast at Tiffany's. This is one of their best sellers. Very popular. All right, I, I guarantee we're not even going to use this much. All right, let's see what that looks like. Look at that. <laughs> like this is already opaque. And like we say down in the description box below, we sell all these products on our website. Artistilldeath.com. And they all have their own little individual category. All right, so there's that. All right, now here's the white. This is the stone coat white. We called it this white and it kind of stuck with that black as well. You only need a little bit. You don't you don't want to put a lot of this white in here because um, what you're looking for is just you're, you just want a little cells. You just want a little cell action. And because of these coasters being white, you already have a white base, so you don't need you know you don't need this to be opaque. You just want to give this. Um, you just want to make sure. There you go. You just want to make sure and give these guys something to sell up on. Honestly, think I'm gonna need to make some more but the way we do these hopefully we won't have to make any more I can just show you guys um, all right so the coasters are just ceramic coasters from Home Depot um, 
we really don't prep them because you really can't sand these because they're ceramic so unless you have a diamond coat sander um, you can paint them any color you want you can spray paint them so that you know you have an awesome base or whatever you're looking for we're gonna do basically a negative space of white so we want to leave these edges white and here white so um, if it does if it doesn't get on a certain part it doesn't really matter so all right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put a base on each of these actually we're only going to do now well, let's do that we're going to put a base down on each of them because uh, for each of these we're going to use two if that makes any sense <laughs> I don't think it that made any sense what we're going to do is take these and squish them and then turn them and then pull them apart um, and I just want to make sure that all all the area is covered because if you just take one without putting something down then you risk having parts that are uh, that are exposed the coaster so then you have to kind of mess with it and then it gives it a whole different look and always make sure your hands are clean before you start you don't want any of these colors on here because you want this to be a negative space um, and let's do this and what you can do if it's kind of cold or if your resin is a little uh, a little thick, you can just take your your uh, torch, heat it up, and you're popping those bubbles as well. And to get cells with, with the uh, white that I'm using, with the stone coat white, you always want your base coat, which is the base white, on the bottom. And then you, you put your colors down and you swipe them over the white and that's how you get cells I don't want to hear anybody griping about they can't get cells with stone coat because that's all you have to do make sure that this white is on the bottom and you swipe or push with the heat gun the colors over them and you want a nice a good uh, base down so you, all those colors have room to move around and it's a lot easier for them to To move around <laughs> I am not a teacher so uh, I just like to show what works for us you guys I'm, I'm nowhere near a teacher I just uh, we just learned on our own because nobody would show us how to do any of this so we just kind of watch videos and just experimented and Erica said we're gonna do this and we're gonna teach everybody this goes out to the people that tell people mm, watch videos you know do it yourself you know you have to learn yourself like I get it that's cute but you know how impossible it is to copy yourself let alone somebody else's work with resin it's in, impossible to get the exact same effect that you've just got when you do it and you want to try to do it again. It might, it might have a similar look to it, but it's not going to be the same piece ever. Same colors, it's about it. <laughs> All right, let's get these bubbles out. You don't want to make it too thin because uh, it'll start to run off the sides and you want kind of a good base here. Get out any trash that you have in there. All right, so what we're going to do, that, uh, let's put a little bit down on this guy. This seems a little thin. All right, so we're gonna put, we're gonna do this different on both of these. I'll put a red base down first here. 
we're gonna do we're gonna do a red base on this one and then we're gonna do a teal base on this one and put the red over it let's try this And then we're going to just do a little bit of this gold. And this is what I mean by a little bit. You can, you can put it, you know, here, here. But I would definitely put it where the teal is in the red. Just to give that white a little something. All right. Now let's hit it with some heat. Hit your smush coaster with some heat. Always move your alcohol rag away because you will set that on fire. Little fire starter, Ida, Ida found that out in our class. <laughs> I say with that with love, Ida. All right, so now take your coasters and you're just literally going to smush them together and you're going to turn it, okay? Turn it, separate. All right, let's let those set for a second, let them do their thing. Now we're gonna take this one and I'm just gonna smush it and pull it apart. I'm not gonna turn it. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> turn it a little bit. There we go. All right. <laughs> now we have a mess. How fun is that? And if you don't like these like this, just remember tomorrow they're going to come out a whole much different. Um, all right, and normally what you would do, so you can pick these up, which I did not do, is put a uh, spray paint cap lid down. And this is what you can also do. Let's do, um, let's get a little bit of teal on this one. Heat this up. Do a little gold. And we're gonna we're gonna do a a tilt coaster. That way it gives you some awesome effects. And that way you can kind of get some of that resin off because this resin uh, it'll stay up. It'll stay on top of these coasters. Um, and if you're uh, what do you call it? If your dust free zone or your table is slightly off, it will run off. So you want to be careful with that. Let's get this. All right, let's get some heat on this one. I think what I'm gonna do Put a little white through this guy. Do a little tilt.
All right. Let's do a little gold through this one. And make sure that you, anytime you put new resin down, always hit it with fire. Because you want to pop those bubbles. And you can, you can hit it, you can blow it. Give you a whole different look. And look at this, look at these cells. I'm going to pick this up and show it to you guys. And this is the only one that I just sat and let it kind of set up. I wish this thing would, but you could see them. <laughs> and what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to leave that because those are nice. I'm going to hit this with some fire. And I'm going to try to put a little bit of white. Let me get a... These guys. I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'm going to swipe over this. Alright. See if this will give you a whole different look. You take your paper, and you're going to want to swipe the color over that. And see, that gives it a whole different look. And then you hit it with some heat and watch the magic happen. How fun is that? You could tilt those those so it makes them a little stretched out. And you can get it a little even on your coaster. Look at that. How fun is that? And if you don't like them, you can always let them dry and paint them over. Not a big deal. I love all these. And make sure you check all the corners and the sides because sometimes if you don't, if it's really thin, then uh, it'll dry like that. So if you want, you can take a little off the, off of your edge there, off the off the uh, table. Get those spots so you know that you're taking care of those. They're not going to be. They're not going to be there. So there you go, some smush coasters. I would have uh, used less red in the teal um, just because it kind of takes over <laughs> but I like them I think they're cool um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these aside and we're gonna use the rest of this resin on some other coasters that I have without the white we're just gonna we're gonna go ham Let's see how much we have left I'm not sure how much we have left but I think we got enough left let's do this I say we do a gold base
Alright. So let's try not to use so much blue or <laughs> so much teal and red. We're just gonna give it a I know what we're gonna do. We'll do a we'll do a puddle. We'll do a puddle pour and a push with the heat gun. Aren't these colors beautiful together? Like this is just, a, this blows my mind how pretty these are together. These are some of Erica's favorite colors. And if you want to push this up, if you want to push this paint ahead and make it a little easier, heat this up first so it has something, so this paint is a little easier to push up that way. And you can see. Look how beautiful that is. Every time a different reaction. And man, I would just leave these right here. There is a little something in here that's driving me crazy. All right, I would leave these, man. These look great. I love them. I like to clean the bottoms off here. Maybe give it a little tilt and stretch those cells out a little bit. You don't have to do this. This is just something I like to do. Gives it a little um, stretched out, little fades. I love them. These are awesome. Very subtle. As you can see, like you don't need a lot of this breakfast at Tiffany's or red. I'm just going to let that go almost because I want some of that gold on there. Come back. Put that in the middle. And I'm done. I love them. Very nice. And you notice this red sells over this breakfast at Tiffany's. You can't even mess with these, man. You can't even mess with them. I love them. And just hit the sides, kind of blend these sides in. Or you can just leave them and then paint them when you're done. Um, what I'll do with these is I'll take them and put them in the uh, dust-free zone, lay them out, let them set up, and then I will show you how to do uh, the backs of them or if you need to do a flood coat on the next video. So there you go. Bada bean, bada boom. You guys have an awesome rest of the day. And roll that stripper music. <laughs> <laughs>